Hey guys, how's it going? You know, it's the beginning of a new year. Oh, it's completely bold. Yellow Aki. I'm Hey guys, how's it going? Today, we're going to be talking about a new Aki Monitor taming method. And new in terms of me just starting to try it out and see how it works with them. I'll give you the full details on what I like about it, what I don't like about it, when I'd use it, and so on. So let's get into the actual video. So this particular taming method is something I've been working on with BDA, and it's not new by any sense of the term, it's just sort of new for me. So BDA is right here, you can tell he's a little bit more tolerating of my presence. He is definitely looking for food though, I think he smells some roaches on me. So you can see, a lot friendlier. So what I've been doing with BDA that I wanted to try out, and you guys know that I'm not a huge fan of using food in taming, is food <laughs> and i can't deny as you know as much as i've you know said in the past that i don't like using food because sometimes it could bring bad associations to you from the reptile it's a it's a good way to make a positive connection between you and your reptile and a positive experience which is what taming is all about it's about making things positive when you interact with them so they're not afraid of you and what's better than that than food so I've been just trying and seeing how I like it, doing taming this way. There you go, right up my arm, and that's kind of how I've been approaching it. And BDA started by, if you want to look over there, Olivia, started by never wanting to come out of his little cork hide there. I don't know what you want to call it, cork round. And then slowly I kept putting my hand there and then leading him out. Sorry, I can't really reach in here because Olivia's filming. Leading him out onto my hand and then kept teasing him to come more and more. In the beginning, he was very reluctant, wouldn't even touch my finger. Then more and more, he would keep coming up, and now he's just really kind of chill with me. I am a little wary of him though from time to time because he is somewhat bossy, I would say, to put it in a nice way. And sometimes it's hard to read if he's hungry, what kind of mode he's in. You can see he's in a very, you know, eccentric, ecstatic mode right now. And he's kind of on a mission, it seems like. And he will climb right up there. Look at him. Fun. I want to show you guys this. Go ahead. Do it. Look how strong he is. Look at this. Professional rock climber right here. Yeah. And then, I, see? Can hold him. Totally fine. Doesn't even really realize that I'm holding him. And then put him there. So let's do it where he has to travel a little bit. So, Aki's especially... One thing I'll say, just like that. <laughs> That's a prime example. Hey, their strikes are very pinpoint. <laughs> and there's many times BDA has stolen it out from under me without getting the full traveling up the arm type of thing. So um, you do have to be a little particular about that. And that happens to me many times with Aki's. You can't really tease them too much. You gotta be very on the edge, but let's try that again. So here what I'm trying to do is the only way to get up here really, I mean, if he really wanted to, you know, he could travel around here. But I want him to use my arm as a way to get up to the food. Actually, even better now that he's going over there, which is what I wanted from the beginning. I gotta get his attention. Okay, here he comes. Can't really see him, which I'm not a huge fan of. But got his attention. Right up the arm. There we go. That's exactly what I want. Ooh, that's that's graphic. That's graphic. <laughs> Man, BDA is he is very savage when he grabs these roaches. I feel so bad for them. But yeah, guys, I've been doing that and it's working out really well. I'm kind of disappointed I didn't document the whole thing from start to finish so you can kind of see how he's been slowly coming out more and more and getting used to me. Obviously, and this happens with a lot of Aki's during taming, he kind of goes through phases. You know, he'll get really, really adapted to me and then he gets shy again a little bit. And that tends to happen over and over and then they get less and less shy to the point where it doesn't really happen anymore. So there's sometimes still when I'm working with BDA and he just doesn't trust me and runs back in. So don't get discouraged if that happens. It happens all the time, especially with juveniles and babies. Juveniles and babies, one wrong move, you set yourself back months. So happens quite a lot. But adults, a little bit easier. Eventually what you want to start doing is getting them to come out of the enclosure on your arm. So that way you can bring them to your environment. Stole that one right from me. Okay, let's try that again. So you wanna get them used to your environment outside of the enclosure. So see how he's a little bit more tentative. 
Oh my god, BD. <laughs> okay, BD, I have one more roach. Let's do this. But you can see how he's a little bit more tentative about coming out of the enclosure on my arm. So let's go this way. Keep the focus on the roach. Especially, you know, with a nice big red male. BD kind of snuck that one out, but that was a little bit more progress than what I had last time. And you can see he's comfortable eating on my hand. He's totally comfortable with that. He doesn't mind it. So this has been good progress thus far. Let's get you off though. So, didn't go as far as I wanted to, but my reaction time, this is why I'm not good at first person shooters. Olivia, am I good, good at Call of Duty? Oh my God, eating? it's so bad. It's <laughs> so bad. So, that's why, because I don't have good reaction time and aim, but whatever. Anyway, that's what I've been working with with BDN. and I gotta say it's worked out pretty well. I'm still not a fan of using food as a motivator for taming and stuff, but it is powerful. It's hard to say. Like with a tegu, I definitely probably wouldn't use food as a motivator for taming. And that's because tegus can much more associate you coming to the enclosure being something food related if you always bring food. Ackies are monitor lizards and monitor lizards are very intelligent. So in the same capacity, I'm somewhat worried about using food too much as a bonding taming method as a way to motivate them to check you out because I don't want BDA to always associate me with food. As you can see, you know, he was checking out my hand quite a bit when I had it in here. And if I didn't direct him with the roach a little bit, he started sniffing around here because he could probably smell some of the roaches on me. They always pee all over me and stuff. I don't know what you call it when, you know, an iso isopod roach does that, but whatever. So he starts checking me out. So I don't think he quite distinguishes yet between me and the roach and just kind of goes based off the of smell. So that's where there's kind of a pitfall or a downfall in using food here. And I definitely wouldn't use food as your only taming bonding method. I'll still mix in my other methods I've said before and shown before. And I think it's a mixture of that. So I'd only use that as a way to create really positive experiences if you're going through some struggle with them or just in the beginning. I think that's a good way to get started. So before wrapping up, since I kept failing with BDA on what I mean by getting them out of the enclosure, I'm gonna do it with Asus here because he's a little bit more relaxed about food, although he will get excited when he sees us. So what I mean is, come on, see, not as not up in my face as BDA is, although that was a good attempt there, Asus. I smart you a little bit though. So come on, right here. Okay, maybe I'm just terrible at this. <laughs> Del's coming from the other side. Let's try with Del because Del's a little plump right now on the count of eggs. So maybe she'll be a little bit slower and uh, maybe I'll have enough of reaction time to deal with her. But you see how she's coming up? They're smart though. They know how to lead you towards them. That's the really intriguing part. There we go. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Well, this unexpectedly turned out to be a little bit of a gruesome video, but I hope you guys took something away from this to get a truly rewarding, keeping experience with Aki monitors. You really need to work on that taming process, and it's always good to explore new ways to go about that and new ways in the sense of stuff you just haven't tried yet. And this is one of them that I'm just trying out. I think, like I mentioned throughout the video, this is a great, powerful tool to get started into the taming process or to win back some trust if there was some trust broken. So this is where you want to use it, but definitely don't overutilize it because then you're going to go ahead and make your Aki monitor always associate you with food, which we definitely don't want to happen. Anyway, guys, let's get to a couple announcements before wrapping up the video. Super special shout out to the patrons. We got Cat and Rick, Darian J, Herb M, David T, Angela L, Smooth Cat, Hex, Stephanie S, Ellen M, and Toothy Chicken. I really appreciate your support, you guys too. Can't support the channel for as little as a dollar a month. Check the top right for more information. Tier three, get you on my forehead. And of course, check out Reptilinks. You could get $5 off your first purchase of Reptilinks by using code ProfessorHerb at checkout. Check the link in the description below, automatically applies that code. Reptilinks is a very nutritious diet for your tegu, hobnose snake, blue tongue skink, and more. It is Frappuccino's, my tegu's exclusive diet, so I highly recommend them. Check it out, check the description below. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and comment below. Subscribe if you haven't. Check out the merch as well. That's to the left of my head. Right here, screen. Teespring link in the description. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.